there were many incredible moments. There were lots of highs where we all wanted deals, where we were all blown away by these entrepreneurs. Um, and then there were incredible low times where we thought like, are we ever going to see a deal? We would have like dry days where we'd run through literally a whole day and one after the next. They were boring, they were just not investable businesses. But then we would get the next day, we would have this whole new outlook um, and, and positive energy and the passion in the people was, was un unbelievable. So, yes, it was like an emotional roller coaster. We would have good days, bad days, great presentations, pathetic, ridiculous presentations, overvaluation, undervaluation. In fact, there was one um, that I remember very well. This guy came into the tank and he wanted us to invest 38,750 rand in his business. I mean, where on earth did he get that number from? So, yes, there was a, there was a lot of humor, there were lots of tears, um, and there was a lot of friction in the tank. Um, after the first couple of days, I think everyone felt um, where they were positioned, and, and everyone began to see the sharks, the strength in the other sharks and their weaknesses. And then we played and maneuvered um, on, on, on those areas of strengths and weaknesses. For me, I think this is a journey. Um, I have, over the last couple of months, I've been investing and looking at business opportunities to really try and develop and grow small businesses. I have a passion for small businesses. I started this business um, on a very small scale with a team of people and I know how difficult it is when you start out of business and particularly being a female people actually don't take you seriously and I look back and I think 35 years ago if I'd have had a mentor and if I'd been able to have a shark mentoring me and guiding me and, and showing me and teaching me um, I, I think I would have actually been far more successful. I think this is a great opportunity for budding youngsters, people that really, really want to excel and do well, and they don't really fit into a massive corporate environment. So I think this is a great platform um, in which um, people can excel. It's a, it's a, it, it gives people the opportunity um, to, to really come out and think of new ideas. I mean, some of the ideas were awesome. It's given me a whole different positive spin um, on, on this country, on South Africa. When you actually hear and see some of these incredible ideas and the passion that these youngsters have, young people, 22 years old, they, they walk into the tank and they blow your mind away. Um, so yes, there were, there were some incredible moments and this is the beginning of a journey. So I will continue to look for opportunities and, and invest in businesses. Um, I'm very confident that all the deals that I've made will, will, will reach fruition and go on to be really successful businesses. And that's what I want to do. I want to have some, some, some meat in the game, um, but I want those entrepreneurs to actually take the risk and, and to really be successful themselves. So literally, I'm just going to be the helping hand, the guiding hand, um, but at the end of the day, I want to make them a success. It's not about me, it's about the entrepreneurs um, who really want to continue and, and to be, I mean, some of these guys, their dreams are small. They want to make 100,000. I mean, when I was 21, I wanted to make first million. I made my first million at 23. So um, it's really great to see people with big dreams massive aspirations and I couldn't relate and I resonated so well with so many of the young entrepreneurs.